guys. Hurricane Milton came and uh, I got out lucky. I haven't walked all the way around the house yet, but the house is fine. Um, we got some trees down, some limbs down, and a whole lot of yard work I got to do. Tore the screen open, the lanai that I have pretty good. So, next couple videos are probably going to be hurricane cleanup videos because my town, Sarasota, Florida, got absolutely slammed. And uh, I can't really see all the damages right now or see what's going on because I don't have any service to get on social media, to make phone calls, to do anything. So, right now, as I put these dogs inside, I'm going to start deboarding the house down, get the generator going, and... Uh, at least clear the driveway so I can get out of here and see what the rest of the town's looking like. Good morning. It is Saturday. Sun's just coming up. Um, fared well. It's been three days since the storm. I've done a lot of cleaning up. I went last night to, uh, well, this morning. I went at three in the morning to go fill up on gas because the gas lines are just ridiculous i mean during the day you're waiting two three hours in a line just to get to the gas pump so i devised the plan i already got one of the gas cans back there i devised the plan this morning to uh really early bird gets the worm you know the saying so i went filled up my girlfriend's car filled up the red truck the uh white box truck already has full tank of diesel in it um dump truck has a half tank of diesel in it tried to go fill that up too but nowhere has diesel right now diesel's out so not most gas stations even have gas i mean there's only a select few that have gas whenever they get gas in it just it all gets bought up really quick but i'm going to show you guys the tree that fell in the driveway i cut it up moved it with the skid steer already so this was the, really it was limbs, but massive limbs that broke off of this tree right here. Two different areas. This is what was <laughs> blocking the driveway. So cut it up into pieces that I could move with the skid steer and brought it over here. I got a buddy who is going to, uh, come by at some point this week or next week and start chopping it up into smaller pieces and take it with him he says he wants it for firewood i mean in florida this will last you firewood for like seven years so but the one positive thing with this hurricane is it brought cool weather i mean it is 68 degrees right now which is awesome the high is like 85 today but a lot better than 90 degree weather, especially without power. We don't have power, haven't had power since the hurricane. My neighbor has a massive generator that'll power his whole house, his AC and everything. So he's pretty lucky for that. Um, I got my generator going. It's not powering AC or anything like that, but at least I can run the fridge, run fans, stuff of that nature. Cause at night it's really not bad as long as you got fans running. But I've already cleaned up most of the crap. You can see uh, down there is my pile that I've made down by the road for pickup. I went out down the road and cleared some trees and debris that was on this main road here where you see these cars driving down trying to do my part. I mean, if you got a machine, you got to go help out whether you're getting paid or not. So today i might get into some work i'll film some stuff uh i didn't want to film anything the past couple days especially when going to people's houses and helping them out because i don't just want to stick a camera in their face especially some people have had their houses ruined and uh i don't really feel like filming that type stuff but i will film today 
this palm tree in the front yard is leaning on this tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that down eventually. Shop is completely fine. My uh, beautiful palm trees here. Got all the palms ripped off of them. The screen, the screen's gone. My, uh, my lights that I had running across here, they're done for. Got Jose's trailer safe and sound. And this tall pine, I don't know what type of pine it is, but this thing was covered like the tip of it was. And as you can see, a bunch of it got ripped off. I was picking up so many of these. There's still quite a bit more of them around here that I can pick up too. I really can't believe I was hoping the one tree I was hoping that would fall is still standing. I mean, look at this thing. It looks like the most brittle thing in the entire world. All the bark shredded off of it. <laughs> I can't believe that thing did it fall down, but heck. Well, I know. My little shed i'm surprised a little carport shed is intact everything's fine dump truck's obviously fine i've been using that for clean up i had this trailer in front of jose's trailer kind of the wind was coming this way so i wanted to block the trailers with the shop so that did a good job all right guys so we are
This is the house. That's so funny. I gotta put that in. So this is the house that we will be working at today. It's one of my parents' friends, and you can see all of the stuff that is washed up. I mean, this stuff in here is not their stuff. It just washed up here. So we got a lot of cleaning to do and a lot of stuff to throw away. But we got quite a bit of work here, so we're gonna unload the machine and start grabbing this crap and all of the loose stuff. We are going to, the furniture and stuff, we're gonna pile it up on the, on the curb so the county can come get it just like that is over there. And then all of the uh, yard waste crap and seaweed that washed up from the ocean, we're gonna put in the dump truck and haul it away. Yeah, just throw all that, no, you're good. Just throw all that shit out right there. Like on the forks, long 
everything you see us picking up in this yard right now is from the surrounding houses stuff that has been washed out and as you can see that concrete wall in the background it is all piled up and collected in this yard because of that wall the water pushed it all up and then it had nowhere to go so it sat and this is just all miscellaneous stuff from multiple houses throughout the neighborhood found two mattresses so far and a bunch of bed frames here Get another piece All right, so we got this whole yard cleared out. Everything stashed up here. Roads, roadside for the pickup trucks to come by, the claw trucks, and grapple it all in there. It is loaded down. There was a dumpster truck that came and picked up a dumpster like a store dumpster that was in between these two houses it floated all the way up against the side of that house so that was pretty crazy also this big propane tank that weighs at least 500 pounds floated right here and landed straight up and it normally is back there where that yellow that yellow line comes out of the house it normally sits right there so it floated all the way down here and landed on the driveway perfectly, which is pretty crazy. So we're just raking up the yard now. Got to load this up into the truck. All the yard debris stuff, as in leaves and sticks, we're throwing in the dump truck and then going to dump. And then we got to do the same thing with this side yard here, clean it up and get life looking back to normal out here. You can see where the water line was along the house. It's a lot of water. And just two weeks ago, the exact same thing happened, but even more water. There was four and a half feet of water in this house two and a half weeks ago. And we gutted everything, took everything out. This whole yard was all cleaned up. And then it happened again two weeks later. All of these houses around here got that much water in them. Nothing's higher. They're all around the same level. And then in that neighborhood over there, they're even even closer to sea level. The ocean's just right behind a few of these houses. There's just a few streets and then the ocean's back there. So all these shops down here, they all got flooded out as well. It's bad. on like just raking up piles and then I'll drive through and just we'll pitchfork it in. You want a water? Uh no I'm good but they're in the bag. There's three waters in there.
need you to look for me so I, to make sure I don't hit the damn house. I can't see my forts. We got to grab those pieces of glass on the side that are broken. No, it's because they left it off here. Yeah, we just got to grab this this piece that's all broke. And then just put it in just the pile. Just put it in the pile of right. shit. Summer Madness. Hey, baby. Oh. Like what? So they were giving out like supplies for the storm, like stuff that's hard to get at the grocery store. Yeah. So I got like wipes, like Clorox wipes. Let's go. Yeah. Um. Like. Nice. Uh, oh, son, you missed. Shit, Let's I did miss that. One. You're right. Shit, dude. My SD would have fallen off. Yep. One side would be hanging. So, got the yard all raked up. Nice and clean. About as clean as we're going to get it. Uh, not much green grass growing anymore after all that salt water was on top of it, about a foot high, but that is to come with a storm surge. That ain't the end of the world. I'm going to come back with the leaf blower and blow the driveway off so I'll get it a little bit cleaner. And then we're definitely going to pressure wash this driveway in the next month or so. Alright, now we're going to go on some of the side streets around here. And uh, show you guys some more damaged areas. I have no idea what it looks like in, in the, these neighborhoods right here.
sure I saw pictures of this sidewalk being like pulled up some areas. Is that a mattress? I think they need some pavers. <laughs> they need some permeable natural drain and pavers. Right? <laughs> that would save it. Look at the beach, look at the parking lot, how much sand they piled up. Alrighty guys, I came back with the leaf blower and blew the driveway off. This driveway we're definitely going to pressure clean uh, whenever everything's all picked up. It's a little bit cleaner out here. It is dirty. We got this back little pad over here. <sighs> we're going to pressure clean too. But that is it. Brought the uh, service truck out here. It's got it all decaled up over the hurricane week. Pulled it in the shop, threw some decals on it. So, who knows? Maybe we'll start getting business now just from the, the truck decals. We've been steadily busy for the past two years without any decals on the truck. So, haven't really needed them, but I thought, why not? you know so they're here now and of course on the first drive I hit a tree branch <laughs> classic but other than that they're still all good we'll go ahead and get up on out of here if you guys are not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button I would appreciate it a lot helps me out a lot uh, this is not the worst we've seen in Sarasota, Florida, but definitely not the uh, lightest hurricane we've seen either. So a lot of people need help right now, and uh, the least we can do is clean up yards and stuff of that nature. A lot of houses are flooded right now, but thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.